Hello everybody, Average Gamer, welcome to another episode of Supreme Lord Ultimate as China. A little sip of my coffee here. So, what's going on? Well, we're still fighting our war here down in Malaya, or Malaysia. Grinding way down. I'm not seeing any massive amount of troop movements yet. Um, what I'm waiting to see is this to start to trickle down. Right now they're still fighting. Uh, they're fighting right here for uh, Southwest Africa right now. Um, really? Southwest Africa still is on positive terms with fucking Portugal. Oh, that's right, because technically they're a puppet. But they're kind of on iffy terms with everyone around the world. Other than us. Us, we, <laughs> um, well, we're rather polarized when it comes to, uh, people's opinion of us. Um, overall, uh, I'm, I'm working on getting people to like us. Obviously, we're going to be at war down here. Uh, so it'll be a little harder. I made some trade arrangements with, uh, with Finland here. I just gave them a whole bunch of shit that they need, um, and some money just to kind of, you know, give it to them. Hopefully, hopefully they start to like us. Um, one of the things I'm noticing around the world is that we are green to a lot of people, meaning that our view of them is very positive. But their view of us is not positive. So, I mean, we're positively affecting. I mean, we're looking at everyone. We're like, hey, we like everybody. You know? I mean, it, it's kind of funny that way. Like, like we're not actually read with any country other than... Actually, even with Malaya. We're actually bright green with Malaya. Um, they love... We, we apparently love them. Um, like if you look we feel delighted towards Malaysia and you know we're, our, our people are very happy about Malaysia on the other hand their people are fucking outraged and hate us and their government hates us so yeah I think that's kind of humorous we love them they hate us it's a different love hate relationship um, but yeah so we're starting to finally grind down the American units down here. Um, our air forces are now prioritizing this area here. And the plan is, over the next little bit, because I don't expect the war down here to last much longer. I mean, they've got, what, one... Yeah, they've got one city left. Three cities. Not even three cities. It's small village, two small villages, and a capital city. So, won't be too long until the American units and the rest of NATO just kind of finish rolling over what's left, basically, of West Africa. So... And once that happens, we're we're up next. But the war where we are is going to go way differently. Mainly because if you look, the supplies out here are horrible. Versus the supplies here, which kind of taper when they're up here. So the hope is that they're going to have so many units influxing. Or they're going to come, that are basically going to come to us. That right in here, they're going to basically hit a bottleneck of, of supply basically drain all the supply that's in the area, and at the same time get just massively bombarded by our aircraft. So that is the hope. Kind of to have them, whoops, have them hit a bottleneck in here, so. And do I only have, you know, I'm going to tell you to repair. All. Air only. Repair. I don't have any more F1s right now, do I? Or at demons. No. Strato tankers. Flankers. Thunder chiefs. No. 
And all our B-52s right now are set for strategic deployment, meaning that they're there for, uh, you know, bombing. I had someone ask, what did I mean by strategic deployment and bombing? 6 and 4, strategic bombing. Meaning, all these guys are carrying nuclear weapons. We have 64 bombs ready to drop, even though we only have 32, or 34. So technically we've got 30, 30 more strategic bombers than we need right now, but I'm not too worried. Oh, we have some available silo missiles. Uh, so as of now, we've got strategically deployed 348 intercontinental ballistic missiles ready to go. And the Americans have yet again incurred on our territory. They did it down there. That's no big deal. We can fight. We can. F Unfortunately, it's out of our supply range for our aircraft. So there's an Indonesia's probably gonna put troops around here, maybe for us. Which isn't that bad. I want you to go here. And air patrol to there. You two, go here for me, please. Perfect. I want you three to go there. I want you just to air patrol to there. Let's say the majority of their warships are going this way, so... down to there. Hope is that we'll have them just kind of capture these bottleneck troops that are coming back. And unfortunately, I can't engage neutral forces with this Filipino uh, tribal class destroyer here, for example. We can't engage him. Really, you're just going to sit there, right? You want to sell me industrial goods, and you want to buy me buy petroleum from me. Perfect. Our world market rating's gone up. Aircraft only. Yeah, I know. I'm actually going to send... Two flankers. Uh, their job's going to come down here. And they're going to go and they're going to hit the flying fuck out of this guy over here. I'm actually going to bring a struggle tanker down to this airbase as well. Like that. Let's see if they can shoot this sea sprite down. Yeah. 
Gotcha. This tanker is going to patrol here. Along with all these uh, these fighters here, they're going to patrol this way. Plans to kind of cut them off a little bit. Anyways, research Marines. I know it's 1976 and we're just researching Marines now, but to be honest with you, we really don't need them. I would like to do some strategic missile launches. I don't know if we have the missiles though. to deploy those missiles. I'm pretty sure these guys can carry missiles. Oh, they're all some of them are carrying the uh the anti surface missiles. Actually that's not so bad, because if they're carrying anti surface missiles, whenever American uh warships come into supply or to drop troops off and things like that, they'll actually get uh, blown out of the water. So it's actually not so bad. Interesting. Uh, the Filipino troops are like like navies positioning itself to get shot. See, they're all getting deployed. Anyways, we have 208 of these. I might... Where did the Americans cross over our border again? Uh, we're going to send a flanker to investigate. There it is.
Now he's going to run out of fuel. <clears throat> oh, the British have stationed uh, some bombers there. If I'm not mistaken, they are allies with Malaya. Are they not? No, they're not. Or is it UK? Nope. Oh, there goes the... Oh! Those missiles are fucking devastating. One missile... Oh, wow. Just... Wow. So, one of those anti-shipping missiles... Wow. So one of those missiles can take out... Oh my god, the American units, if they ever go to war with us. I believe that's the Kraken. So... These Kraken and... Oh... Are we engaging that battleship? We must, we must have just engaged that battleship. They've used up all their missiles. I, for a second, I thought we were firing missiles at that, uh, that Iowa-class battleship there for a second. If we were doing that, and we were actually doing a lot of damage to it, I would be massively impressed. But I think we've run into missiles, because these guys aren't... Oh, I just heard a missile launch. Yep. God damn, those missiles are like... Crazy powerful. Norway. Are you allied with Norway? You are. Great. We're going to have Norwegian troops showing up now, too. So their allies are slowly, slowly showing up. And unfortunately, the majority of our aircraft have anti-shipping missiles. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the end of that map, so... <laughs> so, we learned a couple of things. One, the Kraken anti-surface missile is uh, OP as fuck. Uh, one missile can take out a transport. And just... Wow, I am... Completely flummoxed as to just the sheer strength of that missile, and and how good it is. Um, yeah, so we're basically in such a position that if we ever go to war with uh, war with these, you know, like for example, the U.S., we've got some missiles that 
can do some massive, massive damage to their uh, to their navy. Okay, well, until next time, see you guys at the battlefield.